What is up, everybody? Welcome, welcome back. This is your boy Mars. Today, we are going to tune the Black Edition GTR. I had to do it, man. This is uh, just an iconic car. Now with the new anti-lag system, it just drives really, really nice. So I'm going to show you guys two tunes. Uh, and like always, everybody new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And let's get right to it. So as you guys see in the background, we got the 2012 Nissan GTR Black Edition R35. Let's go to the custom upgrades. First tune I'm going to show you guys is going to be an, a regular all-wheel drive fully built. Uh, and the second one is going to be rear-wheel drive, which actually moves really, really good if you guys have not made rear-wheel drive ones yet. Coming right over here, as you guys can see, the car is automatically all-wheel drive. That's till they come. Uh, and, of course, you can do the wide body kit, which we are going to do for the rear-wheel drive to get, gain some more width in the rear and those, those tires. Uh, besides that, we're going to come right over here. We're just going to put all these parts on here, race. Uh, the only part we are not going to put is oil and cooling. Um, the reason why so is that we only gain like 9 horsepower or 8 horsepower or something like that. Uh, and there is no need for it at all. As you guys see, that difference in power there gains a lot of weight. That is unnecessary for the car and it still moves really good. So now we got the new anti-lag system. The curve checks there right in the beginning that you see the, the, the way that those RPMs move. Pretty cool, man. Pretty, pretty cool. Super happy about the anti-lags. I've been enjoying it. Um, so we're going to slap in those anti-lags, of course. Now let's go over here. We're going to put rally on the suspension, race on the brakes, and everything else is going to be race, as you can see. Uh, we're not going to do um, road cage, of course. And we are going to weight reduct it as much as we can so we can lower that weight on the car. Uh, besides that, race transmission and also race in that diff. And then we're going to go right to the tires, of course. Put the stickiest thing you can, those, those drag tires there. Uh, no width in the front. Nice little trick there not to put width in the front. And then full width in the rear with the all-wheel drive cars. Um, so please do not put width in the front. Wheels, any wheels you guys want. Any wheels you guys want. Got these beat it out well wheels on there. Looking really, really mean. Uh, they're painted in carbon fiber, but you know. You know, you know the jizz. Besides that, size of the wheels, leave it alone. We got 20s and 20s. And uh, spacers, if you guys want to put some spacers, make it look a little bit more aggressive, you guys can. All you can do here is take off the spoiler, which will reduce a lot of weight on there. So I did take off the spoiler. And that is it. Let's go right to the tune, guys. So the tune here is 1515. And here we go. The final drive, 250. First gear is 420. Second gear is 280. 2, 145, 110, and 0.85. Um, so yeah, you got these really nice smooth gears here for everybody to use, not just the pros, but everybody can use these. Uh, make sure to be zeroed out in seven, one and one, stiff in the front, soft in the rear, and then raised, and then dropped. So what this initially does, that front end stays stiff, all that power goes to the back, and then the back end is what squats down and just gets it all that, that real nice push. Uh, besides that, 12, 12, 1 and 1. Nothing with this or this. And 100, 0, 100, 0, and 75. So let's bring out the all wheel drive anti lag, uh, anti lag, anti lag, anti lag system. Uh, we are not using the launch control. Remember, launch control is good in certain vehicles. Certain vehicles it is, certain vehicles it's not. Um, so I've been playing around with it. Uh, the cars that have been liking the launch control are vehicles that automatically make speed launch at 2,000 RPMs. Those cars are really good with the um, launch control. Yeah, besides that, we are still, I think it's extended nighttime still. Um, so it's night outside. The weather is looking good. We got the carbon fiber on the hood, the doors, the trunk. Really cool with the, uh, the gray paint. And the caliper is white. Super, super, super nice. so, quarter mile guys the car is right here for the quarter mile this is two for the quarter mile for the rest of the year you can use half a mile whatever you want with the car but yeah really really nice smooth gears here for you uh, it's going to be a 4k launch so remember you're going to press down the e-brake then you press the gas you're going to watch that needle shoot up when the needle shoots up the rpm needle 
press down the clutch. So you gotta do it in that sequence. E-brake, gas, and then the clutch. Uh, look at the anti-lock. Looks like uh, this popped up again. So there's like a little weird thing that you see how it says off here, but it's still working. So you have to you go like this, turn it on, go back in, and then turn it off. And then save it twice. And then like that you can turn it off. So there you go guys, we got e-brake, gas, and clutch. We got 32 pounds of boost at 3700 RPMs with the uh, boost control or launch control, whatever it is. It's a lot lower and it, and it the boost builds up like really slowly. With this, you get automatic full boost, 32 pounds of boost, 37 on the RPMs at 470 torque. And if you just let go of the clutch of the e-brake, it'll do just like that. And remember to get those tires hot so it won't uh, burn out their um, brake tires like it did. And there you go, guys. This will do consistently 171, 172s. Uh, the rear wheel drive, you can get like 173. So those are pretty good numbers to get. You can touch 174s, you got a really fast UTR. But uh, yeah, pretty much e brake, gas, and clutch. Once you get the smoothness of it, it'll uh, always do consistent numbers. Get you in the, uh, the 171s, 172s, would probably be real good for an all wheel drive version of this car. Remember, the car still has wiggle room to make it faster with that first gear. Uh, so I just did it so that everybody can use this car. I just, uh, Tires on real quick it's a dark time out here. And now let's get back to e brake gas and clutch. There you go, 32 pounds of boost. Now grip even harder. That back end squatted. And uh, it's just moving. It's just moving down the street pretty cool. Pretty slow. And consistent numbers, consistency is always a key. And yeah, let's go to the uh, the other one. Let's go to the rear wheel drive version of it with the wide body kit. This one wheelies and everything. A lot of people do use rear wheel drive in the drag racing scene. So you can't go wrong with a nice rear wheel drive version. And the GTRs have that switch. You can actually switch them. The guys would do reverse burnouts and stuff like that, get those tires hot. And then they'll switch it back to all wheel drive. It's pretty awesome the things you can do with GTRs. Let's go over here. Let's go to Nissan. Where's N? Oh, we already had it. Nissan, and let's put in here the rear wheel drive version. Um, exactly the same build. All we have is just a wide body kit, so we got wider tires in the rear. So, as you guys see, now we're rear wheel drive, and then we got the wide body kit to get those wider tires. Even though you do gain some weight, these tires are super sticky and a lot wider, and that makes it uh, real strong, strong first gear um, and real nice acceleration all throughout. And besides that, build is exactly the same so I'm not going to go through all of it but make sure to not put the oil in cooling and uh, when it comes towards the brakes and everything it's all exactly the same as the first build so no width in the front on those tires make sure to, to not put no roll cage in this thing um, and as you guys see this you don't have to do it in nothing because it just automatically goes to that racing six speed so there's no need for it um, and that is it that is it I did take off the spoiler of course to reduce some more weight and there you go guys you got it let's go and go right to the tune we got 55 in the front 15 in the rear and then we got 260 one uh, four 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 point zero 250 180 135 105 and point 80 zero everything out in seven 65 65 soft and soft raise all the way up then we got one nine nine two Nothing with this or this, and a hundred and a hundred. So that is it with it. Let's bring it outside real quick for a nice little spin. Um, remember this one, you definitely got to burn out those back tires so you can grip really good there and get a real nice uh, launch. Hopefully weather is looking pretty good. It's not raining. Yeah, there we go. Same concept, got the carbon fiber on the doors. That trunk there red color there you go. a lot lighter now that we are um, rear wheel drive but even though you do gain on the wide body kit so compensates compensates pretty good and then it uh, 
you can see that front end lifts up really nice so make sure to get those tires hot same exact launch e-brake gas and clutch same exact of course everything and all you gotta do is let go of the clutch and the e-brake get it to really like so transition those gears very very smooth flames coming out the rear and there you go guys 173 now it being rear wheel drive with those stickier wider back tires um, as you guys can see boards that didn't play around with the gtrs well they did because the 2020 gtr is uh should be maybe in my eyes should it be lighter with all the stuff they added to it all those nismo parts and stuff that is lighter um, and it should have been faster should have been faster than these at least by whatever so yeah e-brake gas clutch that higher there let go of those two buttons clutch and the e-brake man look at those flames come out the rear god i love those flames coming out the rear sums up the video man hope you guys like the tune subscribe enjoy and i'll see you guys around with another drag to the video peace out everybody bye bye now